Hi everyone. If you like what we're doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to uh, get the rat rack together and finish it up. Now, a few housekeeping things. I did end up having to go and buy a new, a second roll of mesh. Um, you may be able to still get away with only the 10 foot roll, but if you want, uh, if you want the 25 foot roll, you'll definitely have plenty and you'll have extra for a few side projects like uh, feeding bins and things like that uh, if you for your grow out tubs and things of that nature um, also i was a little bit short on wood and as you can see in the top left corner here i was cutting the runners for the tubs and i was a little bit short by about two boards so I had to go buy another board and I went ahead and got two for my own personal addition to this uh, system, which is going to be a support for my uh, five gallon bucket for watering. All right, let's get to work. First up here, I'm gonna finish cutting up the uh, 27 inch boards for the uh, runners. And I'm also going to get, do two extra boards on that for the watering. And then I'll end up doing another two boards of a different length for across the front. Um, the idea is that we're actually going to make a platform for the bucket to sit on um, after, after it's all said and done. All right, be right back. Now that we have the runners cut, we're going to take two and we're going to add them to this um, this shelf and the reason why this is going to be the basis for the top of our rat rack which is going to hold our five gallon bucket and that raised lip along with a little bit extra wood will end up becoming the shelf that holds the bucket now I'm going to screw from the bot from the top here and attach the wood on both sides and then I'll add a piece in the center along the back and we will use this to begin assembling the rat rack here we go all right the bucket um, prop is complete. Um, I may come back with a scrap of wood and bridge from here to here to have it for have four sides to sit on, but otherwise it's complete. This is all we needed. These boards could have honestly been made shorter here, but this way, if I choose to, I can actually add a board across here to increase the volume that can be held here of food for the rodents. Now, beyond this, it's now assembly time for the rack itself. Let's get to work. All right, so we're ready for assembly. Everything is together. The boards down there are 27 inches long. They are the runners for the tubs. There's a dozen of them because we have six tubs and one for each side. That is the top of our rack. It's upside down because we're going to be assembling this rack um upside down for tub placement now with that being said we're going to start by placing this down and putting these four posts at each corner these posts here are uh, 60 inches long they're five feet long and so we're going to have tubs all the way down to the floor and all the way up to the very top of it and then we have the other five here and we're going to um and we're going to assemble this one level at a time we'll take put these on each of the four corners we will then put a tub in between then we'll put the two runners on screw the runners in put the next shelf on and continue up until we reach the top and then we'll turn the whole thing over and get ready to put rats in it and set up watering. All right, let's get to work.
as you just saw, we took, we put the posts on the base, or actually on the top. We then added the tub and then the runners for the tub and now it opens and closes just fine. Uh, yeah. All right, we're going to finish this up and get ready to do the watering system. All right, be right back. everyone it is complete it still needs to be flipped over but it's done six tiers five foot tall and probably hmm, three four inches of clearance on the bottom now this spacer is an inch and three eighths for this specific tub that is the gap here it actually leaves about a eight Eight, between an eighth and a quarter inch of a gap right above the flange so it can sit down a little bit now the four inch is actually the gap right here between the runner and the next level and then the seven inch spacer is the space between the front of the tub and the um, the support in the center for also dividing up where the food goes um, really and truly let's flip this thing over and check it out be right back
awesome. All right, it's done. It opens and closes great. No problems at all. Extremely sturdy. And has the watering set up all ready to go. So now all we need to do is get the watering stuff here. Um, it's on order and we'll, we'll follow this up with the watering video as soon as it's ready. All right, have a great day. Bye.